因为从传统来讲，呃，中国史书一般的讲是夏代是第一个中国的王朝，而且主要的朝代早期都在黄河，黄河中游，所谓的中原，呃，认为别的地方呢都很落后。那么现在考古有两个重要的改进，一个是中国的那个国家的形制可能出现的早于王朝时期、朝代时期；第二个是当时在古代中国有很多文化。都很发达，他们互相交流很频繁，然后最后融合在一起，就变成了中国文明Ancient China emerged from several sources, not just one. And it's amazing how we see among the sources, the separate cultures, the diverse cultures of ancient China, how they could both have the same bronze technology, thousands of miles apart, and, but with equal competence. In short, there was not just one technological center, just as there was not just one cultural center. Now, if you were the king and a priest responsible for rituals that hold society and nature together in harmony, uh, you took to the afterworld your ritual vessels to perform, as you had in this world, those rites. I hope you can understand this. 中国的来源，这是我最喜欢。